something a little different uh, right now because we've been talking about obviously the heat wave that's yes. coming and there's a lot of people out there who don't have air conditioning. So this is a way that you can actually make your own air conditioner. Mm. It's fun. Yeah, home. I, I did it last night. Actually, my, my room doesn't have air conditioning my bedroom. So I actually used this last night. So what you want to do is you want to go pick up a styrofoam cooler. Uh, this is a smaller one. Generally, you probably want to pick up one that's a little bit bigger than this. This was about dollar thirty you want to pick up one that's about four dollars a little bit wider than this so you can have put more stuff in here but you're going to want to cut two holes hmm. in the top the first hole is going to be for this pvc pipe or you can use something as simple as a something that's on the back of your dryer one of those dryer uh, tubes you can get one of those you know at home depot for two three bucks easily okay. this pvc pipe i think was three bucks top so that's what the first hole is for so you can rest that pvc pipe on top of it or slide it inside. The second hole you're going to cut open, you need to make it a little bit bigger. That's going to be for your fan. It has to be a small fan. It should be a decently powerful one. And the point of the second hole is that you want to make it big enough so that the airflow of the fan can actually go, you know, inside of the cooler. And in the cooler is actually pretty cool. So you can do two different things to put inside the cooler. You could use ice cubes. But the problem with that is that these obviously melt, right? right? And then that involves cleanup. You have to dump them out, freeze more ice. So what I use instead is you fill up a soda bottle or a couple of water bottles with water and put it in your freezer and you freeze it. And then those go in there, you fill it up to pretty much almost capacity and you put the lid back on top. So the fan will okay. go on one side okay. and when you turn it on, It'll push down the cooler air and only has one way to go back out. The only way out is going to be on this other side. Mm. So if you take the PVC pipe, you can either slide it in this way, you can rest it on top. The cooler air will actually blow out this side mm. and it'll help cool the room down. Or if it's a smaller version like this, you can put it directly on you while you're sleeping and it'll keep you cool. Might not cool the entire room down, but if you were to get the bigger size of this and you put two of these PVC pipes in there, and blow out in different directions, it'll actually cool the room down. That is so cool. The and air coming out of here comes out at around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. So a lot of people probably have just a two liter soda bottle or you can pick one yeah. up for, you know, a dollar or two. Yeah, and if you, really store. if you really have to, you can use ice. The only reason I don't use it is because you have to dump it out after it melts and then you have to make more ice. But with these soda bottles, you can just keep putting them in the freezer. You have multiple and you're taking it in yeah, and out and, and you replenishing just it. Cycle yeah. them. So that's how this works. And I, I'm telling you guys, I used it last night because my room doesn't have AC. Now I made the smaller version, so I just had the PVC yeah. pipe pointed toward me, and it works wonders. And I made this for, I think, 12 bucks. That's awesome. Can't beat that. 12 bucks. And it's something you can probably do with maybe your, your kids or grandkids to, like, hey, let's, yeah. let's do this together, a little now, science project. Because you're cutting styrofoam, I will say it gets a little messy. Okay, So yeah, you wanna sense. make sure you have something laid down on top of us when you're cutting the holes for it, but this is very helpful with how hot it's going to get. And real quick, let's